So for today, we're going to be looking at my guardians for the Xur's Exotic Dare. If this is your first time coming to these type of videos, essentially, I gave myself the challenge of make, basically making all of the exotic armor pieces that Xur brings into armor sets. So basically just to kind of like stretch my fashion limbs so, so to speak not only that i would love to like to see the whole community take this challenge and really see what other people have in mind when it comes to stuff like this because i'm only one person so if you guys have content creators that you like uh hashtag zers exotic daryl would be pretty cool but other than that uh if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe really does help the channel grow and i also noticed that a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed if you can do me a favor and subscribe really does help the channel grow and makes me feel a lot better but other than that let's just get right into it so first and foremost we're going to be looking at my hunter uh for the hunters we got the ahamkara grasps which is pretty cool this this exotic is pretty fun to use although it works better in my opinion when there's a lot more animal armor or like beastly armor so that's why i'm using the canis luna mask so let's just get right into it the canis luna mask uh is one of my favorite helmets i don't wear it a lot just because it's really hard to combine with other pieces but if, it, if you're just going for like a cool aspect then for sure like you can just put this on pretty much anything because it's a wolf mask definitely one of my favorite helmets for the arms obviously we're using sealed ahamkara grasps D does not have an ornament unfortunately definitely one of my favorite exotics from d1 uh d2 they kind of nerfed it a little actually a lot now that i really think about it uh for the chest piece we have the prodigal vest this one is a definite throwaway you can put any chest you really want on it the only reason i chose it is because every other piece was just kind of like whatever's if you wanted to you could do this but you get to the point where you're wearing boots and arms or boots and chest piece for all of this which just kind of make it feel samey in my opinion so that's why i didn't do that but you could also do like this one, which is pretty nice. This one is okay. That's why I have this one because I think this one's a little bit better. And this is the other one that I was thinking about wearing with it, which I actually do like this because the pattern here matches kind of like the pattern here. But I decided to go with this one just because I think it looks a lot better and the tail helps a lot. For the boots, we have the rap, uh, what's it called? The Robo Raptor talons, which the only reason I'm going for this is to cut for the gross talon in the middle. But definitely, definitely cool boots. I just wish the talons were like on the sides, like where they should be. And last but not least, we have the Scarin Corvus cloak. This is definitely one of my favorite cloaks. I rarely use it just because of the gross yellow down here. Uh, that is literally some of the that i hate that i really hate that you guys already know how i feel about uh unshaderable spots it really fucking pisses me off but if you can like ignore it this this the hood for sure is like the only piece that makes it look really cool because you get this really like ominous like only one eyes coming out look which i think looks super cool overall this one this is like something i just came up with like on the fly because i definitely knew i wanted to use something like animalistic with the, the these gloves because they look really cool but if you want to see one of the other sets that i made for this it is definitely the dinosaur one which is pretty simple if you have the pieces obviously uh, this one and i think this one i was using this and this is what i was using for the halloween event i've already done a video on this if you guys want to see the videos i'll have it in the comment below but this one is pretty cool it's definitely a super cool look that i came up with that week and i very much did like it i think it was this one actually with a different shader uh yeah i definitely think this is really cool you definitely should have scooped the dinosaur armor up if you like it because i think it looks cool not only that uh with this one specifically you definitely look like a raptor the claws here the claws here plus the whole fucking face it just the only thing that was really rough was the chest piece but i like at that point pretty much any chest piece works kind of i guess but yeah let's look at the titan and for the titan we have these strongholds which I am so sorry, Titans. I just could not find anything good. This is the like the thing I came up with. It's just that unfortunately, the strongholds are like a shitty exotic look wise. Uh, even fucking exotic, like the exotic itself is kind of shitty as well. But it's I'm it's just very unfortunate that it looks really bad. Uh, they could have really done something cool with this. I get what they're trying to go for, but it just looks really gross. I would have loved it if it had actual like shoulder pieces because then it could it could like I could have really worked with it but because it doesn't it makes it feel really small in the arms and 
because of this big thing, it also feels big at the same time. So th this is the first time in these challenges where it was like, I just I just need to have something that looks like good ish. So I came up with the devastation complex. There was another one which I might actually change to this one right here. This is the other one that came up to mind. I actually do like this one a little bit better, but again, this whole set just kind of like screams. Ugh, I don't know. It's it's rough. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing something else, like something with this one. And then for the boots, I actually did think about using these over here. This one right here. Because I just, again, it's just really... These, these exotics, like when it comes to an exotic that looks really, really bad, I might just do this where it's like, I just, I give up. I don't know what I can do with this. Um... Because, like, this looks pretty cool, but until you realize there's no shoulders on this, which means you have to use pretty small armor, which is why I went with this one, because it's it's already pretty small armor. Uh, this actually looks not bad. I mean, maybe the shader should be different. Uh, let's see this one. No. I actually... Yeah, I actually fuck with this. This is pretty cool. Uh, maybe, maybe the chest piece, like I said, uh, I didn't want to, like, do this on the fly. But I kind of have to, cause like again, the sh the the arms are just terrible, like actually terrible. Um, I don't like this. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. Again, it's just unfortunate that whoever designed this in Bungie was just like they thought this was cool, and I, you know what? Um, if people think this is cool, then I guess, like, I, the exotic itself I'm talking. If they think it's cool, like, more, more power to them, I just do not like, I do not like this shit, this, uh, these arms at all. Never have, probably never will, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, just because it's too, actually, let me see. I don't mind this, actually. I'm like trying to like get my my creative juices going because this is like the first time I've actually just given up on, a, on an armor set because it looks bad like the exotic is just actual trash in my opinion um, something like this does actually doesn't look quite quite terrible what about different I was thinking about this one actually this actually doesn't look terrible uh, maybe different uh, different mark. There's one that's just like at the back. Actually, what about this one? No. Uh, I need something like, well, this one, it's not bad. I would just prefer, oh, wait, 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 wait. This one might be a cop out for people. <sighs> no, it looks cool, but the arms just make it too weak, if that makes sense. Man, dude, I'm telling you, I'll just use this one. Uh, this actually does look a little bit better in my opinion. So I'll just probably, I'll probably just like rock this. Although, let's see some purple. 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 No. Ooh, I actually like this. This looks pretty cool. <clears throat> so... This is pretty much it. This is how I'm going to be. This is the thumbnail now. Uh, again, it's just the arm itself is pretty terrible. If if the arms weren't this terrible, I would most likely actually love these arms. And again, uh, you might be wondering, well, it's probably the ornament. It's not. Uh, this is how the arms look without the ornament. I think the ornament actually looks better. It makes it more clean. So, yeah. Titans, let me know. I am I am so sorry, but you guys should know that this exotic, like is just terrible like looking and it's actually terrible so let me know what you guys think in the comments below titans i'm so sorry uh, next up is warlocks which i actually look, think look pretty cool if i remember correctly so i'll be right back and last but not least we have the warlocks which i actually think came out pretty cool so obviously you're gonna see a lot of orange uh, and different shaders. This is just something that came up like along the way. I was just kind of like I want different kind of shaders on each piece maybe and I came up with this which I think looks okay but I think the Vanguard Marshall like all of it just looks better in my opinion. Like maybe actually that's a lie. Only only on the helmet I think it just looks better. So like that. 
yeah i think this just looks better overall because the blue is just kind of like throwing it throwing it off because there is blue on the chest piece and whatnot but like overall not a lot so let's look at the each piece for the helmet we have the contour contourier uh cover which is from season of the chosen if i remember correctly and again vanguard marshall for the shader i really do like this shader you guys will see why i went with an orange in a bit for the arms we have the contender gloves i wanted to do these gloves because it just it goes really well with it i don't know what it is uh maybe i should have changed it to another shader that has like this distressed black but i really did not have like i didn't give enough of a shit to like actually do this for like all of the shaders so i just decided to go with a pure black uh, for the chest piece, we are using this season's uh, activity armor, which looks really cool. <sighs> if I'm being quite honest with you guys, I would have probably have gone with a different orange black if there is even one, which I don't even think there is. So that's why I went with this one, because I don't like the faded blue. I really hate the faded blue and up here as well. I just think it, it takes away from the armor too much, but I, I like it enough where I, I kind of like deal with it. For the boots, we have the luna faction boots with the matter flare uh ornaments and the reason i'm using orange is because actually if you guys see right there the orange is the the consistent uh color in this shader which is why i'm using it last or last week either either way i, I don't remember which week it was but it was this one which i love so if we get luna faction boots again then unfortunately we'll have to go with the basic bitch outfit and then after that i might just veto it or just go back to whichever one i want to use either way let me know in the comments below what you guys think um we might just do other armor pieces but at the same time it's getting really rough because warlocks really depend on a chest piece to make an armor set look unique because if you keep using the same chest piece over and or the same yeah if you keep using the same chest piece over and over then it just feels samey a lot so warlocks let me know what you guys think and last but not least, we have the Blood Lineage Bond. I love this bond. This bond's one of my favorite bonds. I've already made a look with this with one particular chest piece that I do have unlocked, this one right here, just because of the chains here and the chains here. Uh, definitely love that look, but this one also looks really cool. Uh, this one is probably the one that I can change the most because I really don't give it quite of a shit. Like I could probably do something else like this, which this one was the first thought I came up with but the bond is usually one that i just don't really give a shit too much of a shit about so yeah this one is actually pretty cool i had a lot of fun doing this one specifically so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below uh that's pretty much it titans warlocks hunters let me know what you guys think about your your uh your class in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links in the description below we have two weeks left until the 30th anniversary so i will try to post as much fashion and informational stuff as much as i can i want to at least complete some of the videos that i had planned originally but i completely forgot like again i still have to do the the best weapons of season of the lost and the most disappointing weapons of season of the lost I want to go through the new uh, Nightfall weapons, which I'm going to be a little late on, but I want to go through them just to make sure you guys are aware which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, only the two new ones, is, essentially. And a bunch of other stuff as well. I'm also deciding whether or not I want to post non-Destiny 2 content related stuff in my channel. So let me know what your thoughts on are that, because you might see more games that are not Destiny 2 related. Like, I might actually put up my Metroid dread uh play through the first one because i still have it recorded and some scary games as well not only that a uh, bunch of new games that are going to be coming out specifically the one that that started this whole thing was uh the new uh from from software game i forget what it's called uh but yeah i'll have it in the, in the screen right now but that's the game i've been thinking about uh covering on my channel but yeah other than that be safe and i will see you guys later